In this installment of Diecast Emporium, we're going to be taking a look at the three brand new CAT 973 track loaders from CCM and 1 to 48 scale. They all come in essentially the same box. Really, the only difference is the text on them and, of course, the blueprint outlining of the machine. So for time's sake, we're just going to take a look at the three shank ripper box. Again, essentially, they're all the same. So they basically have the blueprint outlining of the machine on it. This one, of course, is the three-shanked ripper version. Uh, there's a demo version, which you'll see in a minute, and a multi-purpose with an open ROPS version. Uh, one thing that I would have liked to have seen with these models, and it's really the only negative thing I have to say about them, is they these are the Pac-Man time periods, so really the 70s and 80s, uh, 1970s, 1980s, yet they have the, the newer cat logo on the box, so it kind of would have been time period appropriate if the packaging would have matched the models. So, really, a, a, just a small thing, but that kind of would have been nice if it would have matched up. So maybe we could have seen that um, coming down the line with, with future models. Maybe that has something to do with Caterpillar. I'm not sure. Maybe they want an updated logo for licensing purposes. Don't know. Just an idea I had maybe for the future they could match those up. Anyway, taking a look at the packaging. Very nice. Very well presented. You have cat black and yellow. Same thing over here. You have your CCM logo up top, 1 to 48 scale precision die cast model. 973 track loader, 3 shanked ripper. Same thing. And under here you have your CCM tapes. CCM classic construction models. Oregon, handcrafted in China. This is not a toy. And your um, cat logo here, scan to play. So same box that comes with all of them. Again, to emphasize the only difference is this. Let me know what you guys think. So if you're going to be getting yours in, would you like to see the newer style box or would you like to see it match kind of time period to time period? Interested if you guys uh, have an opinion on that as well. So here is the Three Shanked Ripper. So this is kind of... Um, what I will refer to as the main version of the model. It's kind of the one with the general purpose bucket on it. So this version, they made 700 of them. Um, they were originally going to make a little bit more than that. They scaled back to 700, at least that's what the box says on it. All of them come with a brochure with a serial number on it. The models are, have a serial number on it as well. Here is the brochure. The brochures are all the same, no matter which version of the model you get. As you can see right here, I have number 53. And then they are signed. And they are a very, very nice inclusion. Some pictures, some literature as well. Very nice. Again, no matter which version of the model you get, the brochure is the same. Alright, so the three shanked ripper version... Uh, general purpose bucket, enclosed ROPS cab, gorgeous model. Um, all the functionality on these models essentially is the same. Um, although they do come with, you know, some of them have an open ROPS, some of them have different buckets. This is the only version with a ripper on it, so I'll show you the functionality on that. It really works well. As you can see, it goes down pretty well and raises up to a very decent height. All of the tracks roll extremely well on any surface, whether it's slippery or coarse. They are tensioned and, and roll extremely well. In addition, both sides of the cab, um, well, both models that have cabs, the doors do open on both sides. So that's very nice. Functionality, very good, very, very good. Your height is extremely good. Your dump angle is extremely good as well. It will go farther than that. Your carry is good as well. So you should have no issue loading any 1 to 50 scale dump trucks, that kind of thing as well. No problem. But what really sets CCM apart from other model manufacturers is, of course, the attention to detail. So we'll start out with the actual decals. So these models in the real world came out in 1982 because the 973 was meant to replace CAT's 977L. 
So the graphics are really nice. There's your Pac-Man logo. You also have a graphic up here. Moving along to the back. Caterpillar and some work lights here. This is all perforated on the engine housing. These machines have, um, if you're not familiar with them, they have rear-mounted engines, and that's to provide greater weight distribution to them. On this side, more graphics. There's a cat logo right here. Some more lights. Your cylinders here, your cylinder jackets, not your cylinders, your cylinders are metal. Your cylinder jackets are plastic, but the paint match is good enough that you can't even tell. CCM always does a fantastic job of getting the few plastic parts that they use, their color match is good enough where you can't tell. It seems like other model manufacturers struggle with that, but that's not something that CCM manages to struggle with. Moving towards the front, you have a windshield wiper up here on the glass. More hand and grab rails. Those are all metal parts. And they are to scale, so they're not so oversized. Nice air conditioning unit up here. Your air cleaner, your exhaust. I already mentioned the ripper. All your rivets and stuff are painted. And if you look on top of the bucket right here, that is a decal. Which looks awesome. I open the little door here and they... As I mentioned, it does open on the other side. There's some instrument decaling as well, some gear levers and stuff. It's difficult to see. You'll see it a little bit better on the open cab version of this. So you'll get a better appreciation for all the um, detailing and art that's actually inside these. And last but not least, we'll take a look underneath the machine. Not too much to write home about. You have, of course, your serial number, your CCM logo right here but you get to see the tracks a little bit better. So there is the general purpose or the main version of this model, um, for lack of a better term. That's what I will call it anyway. And uh, there are 700 of these. And as of the taping of this video, all three of these versions are still available directly from CCM. So if you want to go pick those up, visit ccmmodels.com and you can check those out. Next one we'll take a look at, this is the Demolition Package 973. There are only 500 available, or 500 made, of these. This is a really cool model. So you don't see too many of these, well you don't see too many track loaders nowadays anyway, but especially um, demolition track loaders. So it's got the demolition style bucket on it. It's got the protection on the back right here looks really cool. I guess we'll start in the back. Let's do that. We don't do that too often. You can see here it's got the protection on it. Two lights up on top instead of being here like we saw in the other one, so that's different. Again, some little subtle differences up top. Over here, a little bit more protection built up on top of there. Again, the functionality is all the same. Working rollers, so your tracks perform well. I will draw your attention up here, because even the cylinders have some protection on them. You don't want to have stuff falling on top of and breaking your cylinders. That would just kind of ruin your day on a demolition site. What's really impressive, though, is the extra protection up here. And if you listen, it is perforated. So extra care has been done there, and it looks really really good and the bucket in particular of course looks awesome as well so I won't spend too much time on uh, the couple variations of it just wanted to give you kind of the heads up on it so it's got that uh, Pearson demo bucket on it it's got the sound protection cab it's got the full demolition guards all over it and again there's only 500 made of the demo style but again as of the taping of this video which will go live here on the 14th of june um they will still be available from ccm so if you're interested pick them up all three retail for 224 dollars and 95 cents us so not too terribly bad. Certainly worth it. 
If you guys want to see a little bit of what it looks like raised, there you go. Very cool. There you go. So there is the demolition one. Last one we'll look at is the uh, multi-purpose bucket. 973. This has the um, open rops as well. So this has the open rops, the really detailed uh, instrumentation, and the control panel and levers and Hopefully my, my video camera, we can we can see a little bit better inside. You guys can, yeah, there you go. You can see the warning labels and all the text and everything that's done up really, really nice inside. I mean, even, how can I do this? Even in here. And in here. And in here. I mean, it just looks awesome. You're definitely not going to want to put a Diecast Masters... You know, Bob the Builder guy inside there. And, uh, ruin the look. For sure. So, like I said, open ROPS, 4-in-1 bucket, so you can do a lot of cool different poses with this. You can do some grading, you can do some, you know, leveling, you can do maybe picking up some logs or whatever you need to do. Cool bucket. A lot of different angles can be replicated with this. In terms of um, track movement functionality, again, all the same. They've done a really, really good job getting this thing to to work really, really well. This has the back end pretty much identical to the uh, 973 with the with the with the ripper on it, except of course it doesn't have the ripper on it. But it's got the the lights in the right place, like the other one does. So, gorgeous, gorgeous machine. Gear levers look great. Paint looks great. And I love the fact that there's... I, I really can't emphasize this enough, and I, and I hope it turns out on video uh, as much as possible, but there is very few... I mean, you can see there the, the hydraulic lines and everything. There is very few plastic on these. And, you know, I get a lot of questions. Why are these... I'll be honest with you guys. I get a lot of questions on CCM miles. Why are they so expensive? What, you know, what what are we paying for? Why is it so much money? Well, you're paying for quality. You're paying for you know how much it takes to assemble these overseas, but you're also paying for the lack of plastic used. I mean, you can tell that there's a whole lot less plastic than you can find on some other models used. And honestly, these these turned out awesome. So. I will see if I can get all three in frame here. So you can kind of take a look at what all three might look like. Very quickly here. So we've got the open ROPs on the far left. Got the demo right up here. And then we've got your three shank ripper with your general purpose just out of screen here. Organize them a little better. All three worthwhile. All three still available for purchase direct from CCM. And uh, if you want a track loader for your for your collection, I would definitely recommend one or all of these. Really just depends on uh, which one you'd like to add to your collection. There's really no advantage. I would say, you know, one over the other, especially if you're like, man, I, you know, I really can only afford one. Which one should I get? You know, it depends. Are you a demolition guy? Are you a, you know, general purpose construction guy? You know, it's just buy what you like. It, it just boils down to that. That's all I can tell you. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. Going back to the point I made at the very beginning of the video, I would like to know what you guys, you know, like to think of, of about the boxes that these models came in. Uh, let me know. Would you guys like to see them be period correct and match these models? Would you like to see them outfitted with the Pac-Man logo? Uh, because trust me, the model manufacturers watch these video guys, and they do care about your input. So feel free to leave your opinion below. As always, guys, be safe. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.